I got my coffee and I'm ready to go for round one. I would like to play first. Uh, I don't think I can keep this hand. Not with this deck. That's slightly better. No artifacts for Glintok or for Carapace Forger, but at least I'm dropping something turn two. This is not not the ideal hand though for this deck. There definitely will be some awkward draws. So he's he's got the equipment deck. The Teljad Defiance will actually be uh, good against that. So I'll try to keep it. Red, black with the uh, So I guess he's got like some sort of red, black aggro deck. Maybe with some furnace celebrations. Ooh, that's good. Um, I think what I do here. Okay, first of all, um, am I willing to trade? I think I'm willing to trade here. The Daredevil. He may not because it seems like he's aggro too, so he probably wants to race. Yeah. Um, I think what I do here is I drop the Glint Idol, Glint Hawk Idol, and I exchange it for a Glint Hawk because. I'm going to have to activate white as it is for the Glintock Idol, so I might as well get my the guy that doesn't need to activate white to attack every turn first. And we'll see. Ideally I can draw a land next turn and drop both my two drops. I'm not going to start cycling for a land with the Telgia Defines just because I see Gavali Gav uh, Gavalier, and that likely means he's got equipment. Is he thinking about holding it back to block? I, I mean, he didn't block last time. Why would he block this time? I guess he doesn't have a follow-up. Maybe he missed the land drop. Or maybe it's something he'd prefer not to trade. Oh, Furnace Celebration, okay. No artifacts yet. Oh, there's my land. Well, I'm definitely swinging away. The best draw in the world would be um, the artifact that makes something else an artifact. That would be ridiculous. Also goes well with Defiance. So with an artifact he can kill something, but I mean, he needs an artifact that's cheap enough and that he doesn't want to actually have in play. Like a spell bomb here would be good. With another land so that he can draw off it. I'm threatening to get in there for quite a bit. He might just have to keep his Daredevil back. I wouldn't mind at this point I wouldn't mind trading with the Daredevil since he's got Furnace Celebration out. Oh, so he does have a spell bomb. Does he have a land to go with it? I 
I mean, it still kills something, which is fine, it's, but he doesn't get the extra bonus of it being a spell bomb without a land. If he had a land, it, I assume he would have dropped it by now. Uh, I'm not going to trade. Uh, if, if he's if he's actually missing a land drop, I'm not going to. I'm not going to trade. And he can sacrifice the spell bomb anyway. Oh, he's just going to sack it. I'm assuming he's going to kill and not make me not draw. Yeah, he's just going to kill my guy. Well, I couldn't block if I wanted to. So he wants his daredevil. That, I guess that means he wants his daredevil. Hmm. Land isn't what I wanted here, but still swing in for six, unless he's gonna chump. Maybe I cycle uh Talgia Defiance at this point, depending on what he plays. Definitely a way ahead in the race, but uh, Furnace Celebration could eventually take over here. Dross Hopper. That's that's going to be okay for him. He may not want to trade it. Um, okay, I'm going to tell Jed Defiance here, but I'm going to do it on his draw stopper, because I don't mind if he if he sacks it in response. I don't mind that much, because he can't get Furnace Celebration out of it. I don't want to do it on one of my guys in case he has a blast. I don't want to get... Completely destroyed. I don't like if I don't get to draw. Okay, I do get to draw a card. All right, that's pretty sweet. I get to drop two duck, two guys. Unfortunately, one of them is not an the other one is not an artifact. But again, I I can't really expect Carapace Forger to be activated all the time. And so far he's been f just fine as a 2-2. Two -two. So I assume I would have seen a blast out of him if he had it. it, it I'm, he, he might have to trade a draw stopper here. He doesn't want to. I think he might regret that if uh, once I, he sees another 2-2 two -two out of me. it's like the weenie versus weenie here. If he had an extra land, he, he'd probably be ahead. But uh, alas, he does not. And he's, gonna, he's tapping out for something. Oh, Arc Trail is good. <laughs> Arc Trail is good. Still, he really needs another land. Does not have one, thankfully. And he's just conce. Uh, that's a bit premature, no? Can't he do some blocking? He loses the draw stopper. Oh no, no, I still get in with the other guy. All right, because he has to sack a creature to give it flying to block the idol. All right, got there. Not the prettiest of wins, but. Sometimes two twos are are just enough. I I mean, with a better draw, it's not even close. Uh, this will be good, I think. 
with his he for sure has a million spell bombs with the furnace celebrations and stuff i i i do think i want to slide this in i can liquid metal coating stuff liquid metal coating is <laughs> it just it doesn't do anything on its own but it any time i draft it it seems like it's always awesome the question is what do i bring out like some blast angel is definitely a nice trump to have here in the aggro versus aggro I mean, I saw how good an extra artifact creature would be. I, that makes me not want to get rid of any artifacts. But I do think uh, Revel's going to be good here. <coughs> how good is Defiance? Maybe not that good. He doesn't have any artifact creatures that I saw. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll cut it to fines. I had to cycle a bad game, and I, I, it's not it's not in my deck to be cycling. He for sure has artifacts, but I don't know um, how many of them aren't spell bombs. It's not the worst against like the red spell bomb if he's really banking on it, but. It's not a reason to have it in, I guess. Alright, I'll go with that. Golden Urn wouldn't be the worst here either. It's an artifact and it seems like we'll be racing with if he if he has a better draw. Even Warden may not be bad here. It's a decent blocker. I think I'm slightly more aggressive though. Yuck. So another awkward hand. Uh I'm I'm not gonna keep this. This is just really ugly. Um if I don't draw an artifact fast and I don't have enough of them to do that. This is also ugly. I'm on the draw. He mulligan to six, so maybe I just mull this too. Does if I draw a forest it's pretty decent because I've got the coating with the forger, but and a, and a slice in twain later into a I don't know. This is this is just really not a great. I think he, he mulligan to six, so this is more like a mulligan. Okay, that's better. This at least has my big trump if I can survive. So mulligan to six and versus a mulligan to five should be interesting. Right, this isn't so good. It seems disgusting in a starting hand. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this if we go to game three. I don't like it. Should just like that should just be. I, w I wish it was anything else other than that. Okay, maybe not. It gets quite a bit better with liquid metal coating. But I'm still thinking I'm gonna cut it. I, I think that was a mistake bringing it in. So he's much quicker out of the gates this time. Ah, that's not what I wanted. I really don't want to have to trade here, but I think that's the play. He's only at two cards, so maybe he's out of, running out of gas. Draw Sarver is potentially more threatening. Oh, he has something. Oh, he's got the removal. Probably trouble for me. 